and you can get your first IT job. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you. I've been seeing a lot of videos lately and also article with couple individuals who pursue an IT degree. They have regrets. And part of their regret is going to college and pursuing IT because they feel like it's been a challenge. Now there's three things that I want to talk about that I noticed that um, they've more focused on. And uh, before I get into this video, I would definitely love for you to be a part of this platform. We talk about IT all the time. I pursued my IT degree four years ago. My associate in computer information system as well as my bachelor's two years ago in information technology management. Well, pretty much I can definitely relate to a few of these IT techs that I'm seeing out here on the internet as well as, you know, these articles that I'm reading with a lot of regrets. So, um, yeah, I do talk about IT from time to time. So I would definitely love for you to give this video a thumbs up. Also to subscribe if you're brand new to this channel. Become a part of this family. All right, so I did take some notes here because sometimes I can ramble all over the video and I definitely don't want to ramble. So here's one thing that uh, IT techs complain about. When you're fresh out of college and trying to get a job, employers don't hire them, you know, um, because lack of experience, um, they don't want to train. And there's one company, uh, I won't really call the name of the company, but I can say that company that believe in training their staff or, you know, training new hires and things of that nature, or even if you have no experience. But most time, college students fresh out of college, we struggle, struggle on finding that perfect job for us. One, because we don't have the skill set as yet. It's not developed, you know. All we have is mostly the educational background, and that's it. We don't. We are lack of the the, the hands-on experience, right? And so we are frustrated, right? Thank God I can say, hey, I'm working as a networking tech support. Do I love this job? Nope, I don't. I don't like it. I really, really don't like it because this is not my skill set. I have potential in reaching way more. I can show my, like, I can show my skills, but I'm sabotaged in a way because I cannot go into a different department to show my skill set, if that makes sense. You see where I'm going with this? But anyway, nevertheless, a lot of us are struggling to find a job because lack of experience. At the end of this video, I'm going to share with you a way, two ways of how you can get right into a job after finishing college, as well as even right here, right now, while I'm, when I finish this video, you can start, you know, do some research, bingo, you can get your foot into the door. All right. So we struggle on getting job, as I mentioned before, because most employers don't want to hire us. And it, it's sad because how are you eventually going to get that start? Like it, it makes no sense why companies don't develop a training program, you know, and give us a chance, but that's not the, the reality of it, if, if you will. Anyway, another thing, they struggle finding that perfect job, right? We got to keep applying to different departments until it's like, cut. it's like, applying to the position that you don't want to get your foot in the door and it, it, it's smart to do but at the end of the day you don't really know how you, things are going to turn out because one you know you get into that department that you don't like and your performance is trash and that hinder you to transfer to the department that you know you can prove your skill set if that makes sense you see where i'm going with this and it's it's it could be tricky it could be challenging so got to be careful with that so yeah we struggle we struggle all the time because one we can't get to show our skill set and the last one i want to talk about is entry level making that minimum wage as an it that don't make sense like when i take a look at it you invest your education right you invest going to school for what uh, associate or a certification 
or a, a master's, a bachelor's degree, only to know that you end up in a job that is still paying you $15, it just don't make any sense. You know, and when I take a look at it, it's like, it could be very depressing. It can get you to the point where you're starting to question yourself and in, you know, you're asking yourself if there, you, you regret, you regret pursuing a degree knowing that you're still making a minimum wage. It makes no sense. So wasting four years in college, like I've seen this a lot. Like I've read so many articles where individuals, you know, they're, they have regrets because some have master's degree, some have bachelor's degree, associate degree, and still making minimum wage. And it's sad in the economy. Like it, it's just not fair. And every year, every year inflation, it goes up, it don't get lower. It, it just keep getting higher. And when you think about it, these minimum wage invested in your education, knowing you still have to pay these loans back and making little to nothing, it could be very depressing. Yes. Thank God, you know, I can say that I'm not where I would like to be, but thank God that I'm making more than the minimum wage. Although I'm not happy in the department where I'm at, I still have to stick it out because at the end of the day, you know, I know that I want to grow. Now, this is my struggle because everything is so computerized that it's hard to find someone to really speak with and let them know. Everything has to be done over computer and they just, you know, recruiters, they just take your information and they read it through and they trash it, you know, or they use it for whatever project that they have. When you really think about it, sometimes you wonder if it really makes sense. You know, you put in your best out there and it's sad so regretting the four years in college right I would say this I tell most of my followers um, I had a couple of you guys that has been following me throughout this IT journey I'm not yet where I would like to be but I still have to hold on because here's the thing I'm not gonna let my four years degree go to waste I refuse to pay financial aid and working another job like you know that is out of my field i have to just keep pursuing so if i have my financial aid that i have to pay i'm gonna keep pushing until i find the right person and if you believe in prayers pray ask god to open a door for you ask him to help you to network ask him to help you to find that right person that can get your foot into the door but at the end of the day you just have to keep pushing push go harder you know um don't give up in this so remember i had told you at the end of the videos i was going to share with you two tips on how you can be proactive on getting your foot into the door without you know being depressed feeling like you can't get a job fresh out of college we don't want to go through that so here's my thing for those who are currently in college right now go seek internship what i mean pursuing an internship program Go to Career Source um, or any career program that is in your college, and you let them know that you want to be able to, um, you know, get into an internship program. It could be volunteer, it could be paid, whatever it is. You want to go and seek internship because this would get your foot into the door. One, the company that they send you to, if they like you, if you're professional, if your work ethic speaks volume, they will keep you and you don't have to go anywhere. That's one. Second, if you are out of college right now struggling to find a job, the best thing to do is to go to Career Source or a Workforce. Go there, sign up with them, tell them that you're struggling to find a job and you tell them your skill set and when you tell them your skill set let me tell you career source and and um and workforce they have governmental program so let me tell you something whether you have a degree or not if they see that you know you you need some brush up they will provide training for you and push you to go get a job if they notice that you need um help into another program for like a degree they will sponsor you but if you're fresh out of college and you don't have a job yet, they can get you right in. I promise you, it just takes massive action. Right here, right now. Call them up, look it up through Google, 
Korea source. Look it up in your area, put in your zip code and search for it. Sign up, go in there with your resume, make sure you look professional, go and tell them what is your challenge and how you're struggling to find a job and you can get your first IT job. I'm not asking you, I'm telling you, all right? So I hope this information was able to help you out, giving you some clarity and cutting that thought process of you thinking you waste your four years of college, two years of college, or even the crash course uh, pursuing an IT program or whatever you call it. You don't want to have those thought process in your brain right now. The most you want to get out of it is to get in a job, just to get you out of the door, a jump start. You know what I mean? I'm not at the place where I would like to be, and I say it all the time, but I can't give up. I'm a person that is driven, and sometimes I have my downtime where I feel like I just want to get up, I want to go, like I just want to quit. But then most time I said to myself, Camille, what is the chance of you quitting? Girl, you better go start your business. So right now, although I'm working as an IT tech, I'm doing my business on the side because my goal is to make the same salary or even higher into my business. And that's another thing that we will talk about in further video because at the end of the day, let me tell you, life is not about just trading dollars for hours. Life is about doing what you love, the lifestyle that you wanna live by putting your heart into it and work and investment into it, okay? So I hope this video was able to help you out as well as giving you some clarity. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up. Also to subscribe if you're brand new to this channel here. Thank you all for watching. Take care, bye.